This is episode 255 of the e-commerce Coffee Break podcast. Today I'm joined by Daniel Tirka, partner manager at trustedjobs.com and we discuss how to increase conversion by building trust with your clients. So let's dive right into it. But before we get started, a big thank you to our sponsors for supporting today's episode. Have you heard about Partner Hero? They're experts in support on the e-commerce industry, known for their outstanding team building skills. Their main pillars, quality, people and culture makes them a great fit for your company. Learn more on partnerhero.com or click the link in the show notes. Let me introduce Lantern, the ultimate quiz building Shopify app. Seamlessly guiding shoppers through custom quizzes, Lantern is leading them through their ideal products while gathering invaluable information. By understanding and addressing unique user preferences, Lantern transforms browsing into a tailored journey and during each visitor finds exactly what they are seeking. Visit trylantern.com and message their support with I want my coffee break time for an extended 30-day free trial. This is the e-commerce coffee break. A top-rated Shopify growth podcast dedicated to Shopify merchants and business owners looking to grow their online stores. Learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host, Klaus Lauter, and get marketing advice you can't find on Google. Welcome, welcome, welcome to, to the, the show. show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the e-commerce Coffee Break podcast. Today, we want to dive into the topic of building trust online. Now, a lot of merchants out there are struggling to build up enough trust so that the conversions obviously go up. And on the other side, a lot of buyers are looking for trust building elements on the website so that they have the feeling they can trust the merchant and buy from them. Now, that might be a complicated uh, process for some of the merchants out there. And that's why we want to dive a little bit deeper into that. So with me on the show, I have Daniel Turka. He's the partner manager of trustedjobs.com. He has a passion for customer satisfaction and a keen eye for detail and works closely with their partners to ensure they receive the highest level of support and value from the services of trustedshops.com. So that's welcome to the show. Hi, Daniel. How are you today? Hi, Klaus. Thank you for having me. I'm very good. How are you? I'm very well. Daniel, validation, verification. I think these are two keywords that come into mind when we're talking about building trust online. Give me an overview why building trust is so immensely important for online merchants. Trust is the cornerstone of any successful e-commerce business. If you think about it, without trust, customers are less likely to make a purchase. And that's what we're looking for as an e-commerce business. High levels of trust can lead to increased conversion rates. The more the customers are more willing to buy from businesses, they feel the businesses that they actually feel confident in. Trusted shops helps businesses build trust through various uh, means, such as customer reviews, trust badges, a trust badge and like the buyer protection. For me, working for Trusted Shops for a while now, Trusted Shops as providing is the leading trust market and the review platform for e-commerce businesses in Europe. My role as a partner manager kind of involves building and nurturing relationships with e-commerce businesses and partners to help them enhance their trust and credibility with their customers. I work pretty closely with partners to provide valuable solutions specifically to boost conversion rates and improve their overall customer satisfaction. So you're working with with a lot of shops out there. Maybe let's dive into an example what people should not do. So when they come to you, what are the most common errors or mistakes they have done on their stores that prevent them on for higher conversion rates? The first thing that I come to play is, I don't know, the quality of their photos, the quality of their websites. They're looking for either fake reviews E-commerce businesses in in general often face challenges, a lot of challenges. First, there's a lot of e-commerce businesses out there. So you need to stand out. You need to differentiate yourself from the rest. You have online fraud, you have fake reviews. Because there's such a big competition, you have concern about the product quality. So you need to address the privacy and security concerns as well. So what Trusted Shops is doing at the moment is offering and has been doing for the last 20 years is offering, uh, offering like a comprehensive solution to address those specific challenges, including a trust mark. I mentioned the verified reviews and I don't know, a trusted checkout process to ensure a secure shopping experience. Okay. Maybe let's go through the different stages. Obviously it starts with being legal compliant so that you have a compliant business. What do I need to look into to make sure that this gets communicated to my potential buyer? So what we do is we do like one audit on your shop. We make sure that your terms and conditions 
is correct facing this the specific market. We make sure that your cancellation policy, your return policy is correct. We make sure that the imprint is correct, that the, the details of your companies are there for the customers to see. We make sure that the, the writing is uh, quite correct, that you're not advertising for a specific product and you're showing a completely different product. So we want to make sure, because there are several fake shops out there that are advertising for a specific product and then you end up in a shop that is selling a completely different product. So we want to make sure that our shops that we're working with, and we're working with over 30,000 shops at the moment in, in Europe and in the world, that are facing rigorous certifications just to make sure that we're enhancing that trust between their clients and themselves. How we do that, we have the only three-in-one solution on the market. So we give you the trust mark. Our trust mark is the number one in Europe. It's displayed on your website. It assures the customers that the customers of a business reliability. So as I mentioned, we do a small audit to make sure that not only that the products are okay, but the company that is uh, running that specific shop uh, is verified. Then you have the verified customer reviews. So when I mean the verified, we work with the closed reviews platform. So that means only people that actually make a purchase on your shop can actually leave a review. So it, it just gives the shoppers insights to the experience of others. Yeah, helping them make an informed decision. And you have like the buyer protection. A buyer protection means for that specific purchase, you have up to 2,500 euros or pounds, depending on the market, covered for that specific payment that you made. All the three-in-one solution follows the entire customer journey from collecting the reviews and increasing your SEO and uh, putting you higher in Google to making sure that your customer that goes online stays on your website and finishes up the purchase. Obviously, it's a big benefit to be verified from a external company on your reviews instead of being a marketer and just throwing everything on your website, whatever comes to your mind. How yep. do you deal with the existing reviews of a merchant coming to you and interested being in, in your services? They might have reviews on, on other platforms. How do you get these in so that they don't get lost? We develop, we develop the tool where through our e-trusted platform, you can actually manage your reputation on uh, a different, from a different provider. So for instance, if you're with Trustpilot and you have not such a good reputation on Trustpilot, but you can keep the reviews and you can start managing that reputation through our specific platform. It's a very cool way of keeping both review ratings for good review ratings. And if you have a bad one, or let's say on, on a different platform like Trustpilot, then you can manage it. So you can send the view advice, then the reviews that you're collecting, you can send it towards that specific platform, increasing your reputation on that one as well. How does it work with international stores? There's a lot of stores that are not only selling internationally, but also multi-language, multi-currency. How does that work? So it, it's, it's very easy. So we're present at the moment in about 15 different markets. We work with different languages, including German, because we're a German company. So German, Spanish, Italian, French, English, Polish, and so forth. So for every single market, then you'll have the necessary help technically and commercially to make sure that you develop that specific store on that specific market. If you're a business that wants to sell from, let's say that you're from Germany and wants to sell in the UK, then you develop that domain for the UK market and then you have those business tools, the trust market, the buyer protection, and the reviews all for that specific domain. Just to make sure that, let's say, the reviews that you're collecting are not in German for that specific market. It, they are in English. So they can actually, we can actually use it towards your SEO. No, makes perfect sense. Obviously, you want to see a review in your language. I think exactly. one thing that with Trusted Shops really stands out is the part of the buyer protection, which I haven't seen anywhere else. I want to dive a little bit deeper into that. How does that work? What's the benefit for the merchant? What's the benefit for the buyer? So the buyer protection is a psychological instrument because I'll give you my experience. When I look for a product, I get to see the product. I enter by this specific web server, but I'm not too sure about if I'm going to get it, if I'm going to, if my money is going to be wasted, or how long it's going to take for the product to get in. If I don't like the product when I get it, if I'm going to get the money back. And so most of the times 
I either get out of that specific store if I don't trust it, or I just buy like the cheapest product on that specific store. What the buyer protection does, because you're covered, you have an insurance technically for that specific purchase up to 2,500 euros. What it does is it reduces your cart abandon rates, uh, it reduces your bounce rates. It makes sure that that specific client finishes up that specific purchase and you're covered up to two do- up to 2,500 euros. And it increases the, the cart rate as well. Because not only that I'm going to buy the cheapest product, but I'm going to buy the product that I wanted and maybe even more because I'm covered. I have an insurance for that. And now a quick break to thank the sponsors of today's episode. As a prominent player in the e-commerce support arena, Partner Hero specializes in delivering personalized customer experience solutions. With a clear focus on helping you not just meet but exceed your goals and requirements, they have become experts in e-commerce support. Their commitment to tailoring solutions to your unique needs ensures that your support experience is nothing short of exceptional. Partner Hero is more than a CX company. They are your partner in success. Visit their website and learn more on partnerhero.com. Let's take a moment to spotlight Lantern, not just another app, but the highlight of quiz building expertise. Imagine a digital guiding light artfully steering your eager shoppers through interactive quizzes titled just for them. Lantern offers more than direction. It's an insight gatherer capturing valuable data from every user response. This isn't merely about quizzes, but understanding, adapting and curating a shopping experience so personal, so refined that each visitor feels like the journey was crafted solely for them. Dive into the world of personalized e-commerce and watch as every browser transforms into a satisfied customer. Visit trylantern.com and message their support with I want my coffee break time for an extended 30-day free trial. Best or worst case scenario, the goods or the order gets lost somewhere along the way or stolen and then obviously they will be covered for and will be refunded and you as a merchant are on the safe side and the buyers on the safe side. Is that right? So the protection, the buyer protection works for the goods ordered from you that did not arrive or the money is not refunded after the customer has returned, returned the goods or your online shop files for in, insolvency, right? Because we do like an audit beforehand, we make sure that everything is in order from an audit point for that specific shop. It's rarely where, let's say that a client is looking to get covered for that buyer protection and they don't receive the money back from the actual shop. They get in touch with us, we get in touch with the shop. We were the mediators in this kind of scenario and we make sure that everything is all right. We worked in order to release that buyer protection because we release, trust the shop to release that buyer and that buyer protection. We work with one of the largest kind of insurance companies as well. So we want to make sure that we do a risk check on that specific shop. We want to make sure that everything is in order, the return policy, the terms and conditions, everything is in order. That makes perfect sense. But I understand the Trustmark, and it's very well known in Europe. Trusted Shops is, is, is a well-known brand in, in this area. You have to earn it, as you said. You have to qualify, you have to do the right things, and so on and so forth. Are there any specific industries, niche vert- verticals that you do not work with, or can everyone apply? We work with pretty much every single industry, as long as you're not selling guns or objects that are related to guns. We pretty much work in every single industry. So it doesn't matter if it's fashion or tech or uh, DIY or whatever the case is. We, as long as you have like good job, we do the audit first. We make sure that you, your shop is secure. Then you'll be able to to get the trust mark and the buyer protection. Even I was actually talking to a client with one of my partners. We we're talking about the, the online casinos. As long as your shop meets the requirements or you have like a license to have an online casino, everything is in order, then you'll be able to get that trust mark, that buyer protection and that abuse. Tell me a little bit about the onboarding process and the implementation process. How does that work? How long does that take? Uh, It's very easy. The way that you do it is you, let's say that you get in touch with us. You want to get the buyer protection, the trust mark and the review system. It's extremely easy. You're going to be passed. You're going to be assigned a customer success manager and an account manager. So you're not left alone after the sales process. We do the integration there. You integrate the trusted shops in, into your shop. That's done two ways. We eat, integrate with the, the, like the biggest kind of platforms out there. So Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce, and uh, Presta Shop, and so on. If there's no plugin, direct plugin for that specific platform, then you do like a manual integration. We give you like the full steps and actually do it. It's an extremely easy. 
you start collecting your first reviews. You manage you manage your collected reviews through our platform through through the e trusted. Then you start giving out your feedback on your audit report that you have with the customer success manager. Then you maintain your review profile. It's pretty easy. The audit usually takes again depending on the shop. It could take up to uh, five to ten working days, but we had shops that receive the audit report, like the green light for the audit reporting in the same day. I think the audit is a huge benefit because you don't know what you don't know. And if you have exactly. some legal issues on your website and you're not aware of that, I think that working with you guys is, is a good way to figure that out and to correct that. Now, tell me a little bit about the pricing. How does that work? The pricing is based on the revenue of the shop. So uh, like the annual revenue and the number of domains that you have. So if you have a domain for Germany, if you have a domain for the UK, if you have a domain for Spain and so on, and depending on how many solutions you want, if you want Google integration, which will help you with your reducing the cost of your Google campaign, your ad campaigns, if you want the reputation manager to make sure that you're increasing the, the reputation on, let's say on, on, on Trustpilot platform as well. And there's several other solutions that we can provide. We want to make sure that you don't just sign up for something and you get all the products, even though you don't need them. So for instance, if you're just starting up like a very new shop, we wouldn't, if you don't have reviews already, we wouldn't recommend the Google integration because you don't have the hundred reviews. Once you get the hundred reviews, maybe you get the Google integration solution on it as well. So we want to make sure that our solution is tailored to your needs and to your wants as well in making sure that you're successful in your day-to-day -day transactions. One question I have, obviously your logo, your trust mark is a, a huge benefit in marketing. So not only for the conversion rate while people are on the store on the checkout process, but in marketing in general, where can I use that? Well, how I'm allowed to use that in my marketing in general? You can put it on your, the trust mark will show up on your domain. Being the number one trust mark in, in Europe, it will show that your domain was audited and it's safe to make a purchase there. It's safe to do transactions over there. You can use it pretty much everywhere on the shop, on the domain. We want to make sure what we suggest to people and to our companies is that they put it somewhere on the right hand side, bottom right hand side corner, because after doing a lot of tests, what we discovered is that the human eye, what it does when you enter a new shop, it goes left up, right up, left down, right down. And then in about five seconds, it leaves, then loses interest. So we want to make sure that the last thing that they see is that specific golden trust mark that they see. You click on it, it expands. So it's mobile and follows you around. It follows you in all of the pages that you have, including your, the uh, last part where you make the purchase. So you can put it in and you can display it pretty much everywhere uh, that you want and how you want. And then there's different ways of, of displaying it as well. Okay, that's an awesome tip that you just gave away there. So put it in the right bottom corner of your store. That's where people see it the most. Um, so a lot of merchants and listeners yeah. go over there and do that right now. Before we come to the end of the coffee break today, is there anything you want to share with the listeners that we haven't covered yet? No, not really. We were just speaking of trust. I was just, I think a week ago, I was on a social platform and I was I saw this post about people getting fake reviews and the request was people like, I need a hundred reviews right now. That was a little bit crazy because the response was quite mad. If you, if you ask me, there was more than 20 people saying, yes, 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 DM me, DM me, DM. People in my personal experience should stay away from fake reviews. It's just a personal feeling that I have. Not only that, it costs a lot of money to take them out, but you're trying to build trust with your consumer. You're trying to make sure that they come back to your shop. So having those kind of fake reviews on top of it, it would only destroy your reputation. And what Trust the Shop has been doing for the last 20 years, because it's a closed reviews platform, that means only people that actually make purchase can leave that specific reviews. Our solutions in general can provide an increase in your conversion for, I would say, like a good trade would be anything between eight to 12%. But we have bigger clients that having, have shown 33%. We have uh, a client in the UK that's shown 33% uh, increase in their conversion rate using 
our solution to transport the bike protection and the reviews. We have another client that has shown 30% um, increase in their conversion rate. We develop another solution in terms of time management answering the reviews, because the more you grow, the more time you're going to spend on answering reviews and make sure that they're okay and they're being seen and to help you out with the SEO. So we developed a solution where it uses AI to help you answer those kind of reviews. And we have several clients that shown that they saved about 50% of their time on review management. We offer different solutions for different customers and we work with any kind of customer from startups to high enterprise. It's all depending on what they want and what they need. And if we can actually make a change. Good point that you mentioned there. Don't go to Fiverr and find someone that you might get in your 100 reviews or more. That's a very, very bad idea. As a startup or somebody who is starting in e-commerce, you need to be patient and you need to build up quality reviews, real reviews. Otherwise, you're just destroying your reputation for the future and you don't want that. So really good tip there. Daniel, exactly, where yeah. can people find out more about you? Trustyshops.com, trustyshops.co.uk. I can leave my personal email address here for anyone that can get in touch, get in touch with me, either clients that want to display our trust market, our buyer protection and the review system, or even partners that want to associate uh, with us and trying to help their own kind of clients differentiate themselves from the rest of the shops. You can find us again, we have different domains, so German, French, Italian, Netherlands, K, Spanish, and, and so forth. It's not that hard. Just put in trusty shops on Google and it will be the first one to show. Okay. I will also put the links in the show notes. Then you're just one click away. Of course. Daniel, okay. thanks so much for giving us an overview on how you can increase your conversion rates with building trust on your store. I think that's a very important topic. And I hope that a lot of listeners will check you out and become clients. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. Have a lovely day. Hey Klaus here, thanks for joining me on another episode of the e-commerce Coffee Break podcast. Before you go, I'd like to ask two things from you. First, please help me with the algorithm so I can bring more impactful guests on the show. It will make it also easier for others to discover the podcast. Simply like, comment and subscribe in the app you're using to listen to the podcast and even better if you could leave a rating. Secondly, please take a moment to check out today's episode sponsors. They play a crucial role in keeping the show and our newsletter available to you for free. Thanks again and I catch you in the next episode. Have a good one. Before you leave, don't forget to visit the sponsor of today's episode. Let me introduce Lantern, the ultimate quiz-building Shopify app. Seamlessly guiding shoppers through custom quizzes, Lantern is leading them through their ideal products while gathering invaluable information. By understanding and addressing unique user preferences, Lantern transforms browsing into a tailored journey and during each visitor finds exactly what they are seeking. Visit trylantern.com and message their support with I want my coffee break time for an extended 30-day free trial. Have you heard about Partner Hero? They're experts in support on the e-commerce industry, known for their outstanding team building skills. Their main pillars, quality, people and culture makes them a great fit for your company. Learn more on partnerhero.com or click the link in the show notes.